Today, I'm talking about one of my favorite pocket operator features. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and be sure to check out my upcoming free live stream concert, Freebeat Live, the next level. It's gonna be right here on YouTube. If you're watching this video, then you can tune in and watch the concert. Dates and times in the description below. I hope you're excited. We're in the middle of rehearsals right now. It's gonna be a blast. Hope to see you there. Today's patron shout out goes to Jambot. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So a lot of you probably know this by now, but I absolutely love the Teenage Engineering Pocket Operators. They're small, affordable, easy to learn, but difficult to master, and just a lot of fun to play with. And one of the reasons that they are so fun to play with is because of the punch-in effects, which happens to be one of my favorite features on all of the pocket operators. If you're unfamiliar, punch-in effects are uh, brief little alterations to your patterns that you can make in real time. And you can either, like I said, play them in real time or actually record them into uh, the 16 different patterns themselves. Each pocket operator has between 15 and 16 different punch-in effects, and every pocket operator has different punch-in effects. So let's uh, put the PO20 Arcade aside here for a minute and plug in the PO133 Street Fighter. This is the same as the uh, PO33 KO, so all of the punch and effects will be the same. We came up with this little pattern the other day here on the channel. <laughs> And I figured it would be a lot of fun to use it to demonstrate some of the punch and effects on the PO133 slash 33 because they are some of my favorites. So the way we access punch and effects is while our pattern is playing, we hold down the effects button and then buttons 1 through 16 will represent our different punch in effects. So we simply hold down the effects button, hold down one of the uh, numbered buttons here and we'll get access to that uh effect. Now on the PO33 and 133, um, button number 16 does not have a punch in effect that actually uh, gets rid of any punch in effects in case you've actually recorded them uh, into the patterns themselves, which we're not going to do that today. I'm just going to kind of walk you through the different effects. They're pretty cool on the PO33 slash 133. Uh, number seven and eight are an octave up and an octave down, and uh, they are really cool. They shift your entire pattern either up an octave or down an octave. Uh, but anyway, yeah, these are great for live performance and just a, an extra layer that you can add into your pocket operator music. So uh, let's have a listen. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, they are a lot of fun to play with live and can breathe a lot of new life into existing patterns that you've already made. And if you do want to record them into your music, by the way, all you have to do is play your pattern, turn on write mode, and then hold down effects and use the punch in effects like we were just doing. And while you can only have one punch in effect active at any given time, you can still have multiple punch in effects in a pattern. They just can't overlap. So it would sound something like this. <laughs> Awesome. 
awesome. I have no clue why we don't see punch-in effects, or punch-in style effects at least, on more devices. The OPZ has some, but of course that's also made by Teenage Engineering. Uh, and the only other one I can think of that has this kind of effect off the top of my head is the uh, Novation Circuit Rhythm, I believe has some kind of uh, punch-in effect style feature. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Let's switch gears now to the PO20 Arcade, because... Uh, punch and effects work a little bit differently on this pocket operator, and I believe it's unique uh, in how they work. I don't think there are any other pocket operators with effects that work like this. On the arcade, you basically turn on and off all of the punch and effects. Some of them will last until the end of the pattern. Some of them will keep going until you toggle them off, so it's a bit different experience. The PO20 Arcade also has my favorite punch-in effect, which is on the very last pad here, so you do get 16 punch-in effects on this one, and it's this arpeggio that uh, plays through till the end of the pattern, the end of the measure, and it will end the arpeggio on the on a an appropriate note for whatever uh, chord you have set for the downbeat of the next measure. So. Uh, I've still got the little jam we came up with the other day on the uh, on the arcade here. I figured we would use that to demonstrate some punch-in effects, so let's go. Watch out for number 16, that's the arpeggio. Here we go. Yeah, as you may have been able to figure out, the top row here is a collection of mutes, actually, as the punch and effect. So you can mute the bass, uh, the lead, and various aspects of your song. I absolutely love that the uh, filter adjustments in row two um, stay on. So, like, for instance, we can turn the uh, filter sweep on here, the low pass, and uh, just stays active. Same with the high pass. Yeah, so much fun. That's all I really wanted to uh, do in this video is kind of shed some light on these. There's not really too many dedicated videos, just, uh, you know, talking a little bit about the punch in effects and what they are and what they do. And uh, manufacturers, gear manufacturers, give us some more of these on different pieces of gear. I think they can uh, really add to the uh, live performance aspect of uh, any device. I will say if you have an electron sequencer that has the uh, fill option, so you hold down like a fill button and it adds some things in, you can uh, kind of craft your own punch in effects um, by teaching the fill button to ignore uh, certain notes and certain parameter changes and whatnot, but it can be a bit of a pain. There's something just immediately satisfying about being able to hold down a button and completely change the uh, you know, sound of your pattern. It's a lot of fun. I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay, too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.